Sweet, we are good to go. So, mate, um, I myself to drink on it one minute. Leroy, it's been a busy few weeks for you. Well, you've uh, been working on MetaBeats for a while now. Can you let's uh, let's hear about it, man? How how did we get to this? <laughs> Whew. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been a quite a few busy seven, eight months really in my life of uh, discovering NFTs, um, getting rug pulled, as they call it. Trying to learn a new language, um, that's that's quite funny. Um, but the, the bottom line is, um, it's about music. There's been a long, long time uh, from, since music artists have been sorted out fairly. Uh, their careers and music has been controlled by labels and stuff like that. And a lot of the artists involved have been doing this for 35 years. So they've all got something to offer. They all started doing this um, before egos were in DJing. Um, and we were doing everything for the people, for the buzz of it. And that's something we're trying to recreate um, without having to pretend, you know. And so my idea was to bring music to the metaverse, have people be able to own a little loop, a theme tune that's personalised for them um, to own as a one-off the same as you do when you buy an NFT image. Um, that was the general plan. Turned into more of a, an idea, really, and then it's become MetaBeat. So still a long way to go. But the bottom line is it's about delivering uniqueness and quality to people that it's got a value to it, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, um, So MetaBeat's is an nft that is uh, a beat right um well theoretically it's not necessarily a beat we're, we're we're heading into a whole new world a whole this metaverse um there's no boundaries to this this place yet you know rules will be set as as it's discovered as we put our feet in there and take take the steps forward that this stuff will be discovered rules you know but at the end of the day for me it was, you know, we can go in there and we can write music. People are going to be flying around in spaceships, you know, so we, we can write atmospheric music. My brief to the, the artist was, look, imagine a human emotion. Someone has got their personal little theme tune, be it, you know, angry and sinister like Darth Vader or, you know, Indiana Jones or James Bond or funky like Shaft. Picture someone, you know, in an emotional environment, walking, running, driving, flying their spaceship, might be chilling in their pad, you know, just take nature, take human emotion and come up with a loop, you know, there are loops between 45 seconds and a minute and a half, a few people crept over, um, but, you know, it was about, it wasn't about trying to write a hit record, it's about trying to make a, a mini score for someone that they can identify when they're in the metaverse and they're getting up in the morning and they're picking their whatever adidas digital outfit and their nike nike digital trainers they pick up their uh meta beats fan tune and tag it onto them and off they go yeah very cool man very cool um well time was time will tell time will tell yeah so for the uh, holders of the Genesis One collection, what can they expect in um, terms of, you know, ut utility for the collection? Um, you know, I think I think first and foremost, before I, I get too, too far along the line, it, this is a, a new adventure for a lot of the artists. Um, I feel it's a pretty genuine idea um, for people who are interested in, in getting involved with it, you know. So take it a step at a time. I think when when you get minted in one of these things, you're buying getting something so unique. There's only one of that that thing you're getting. And I'm, I'm not saying um, it's any different to a piece of art, theoretically, but in terms of, you know, your, your apes, your broad apes, all these things are done off a template. You know, nobody, someone can copy the platform, but nobody can copy a thousand songs uh, with velocity, tempos, 
you know so it's a unique it's so unique and it's kind of dawned on me more as i've gone along and the more i'm looking at the nft space how unique it actually is you know so to me that's the first benefit of it the second benefit is you know if you're a holder of this genesis thing you can be involved in so many parts of the roadmap i'm not going to sit here and say that the roadmap is uh, planned out step for step but the concepts of what we've got every single one is doable and a lot of the nft projects i see people have great ideas but actually delivering them and in a time frame uh becomes a problem and, and that gives people a lack of confidence you know we've all been there some people invested in their whole life or they've read in this situation so it, it's a very funny space you know and for me I don't want to bullshit people. I'm not going to say to them, say, oh, I'm going to do that if I can't do it. It doesn't get anywhere in, anywhere in life bullshitting people. You can do stuff you can't, you know. So, for example, if, if you're a holder of a Genesis, Genesis uh, MetaBeats NFT and we say, right, we're going to do an album, we're going to extend 10 of the NFTs and we're going to release an album on all the platforms, physical, uh, if you hold that NFT and it's on that album, you're going to get a royalty from it. You know, if you if you hold this NFT, Genesis NFT, uh, NFT, you've got 54 artists of which you can get discount on their merchandise, of their band camp, of their music, of their concerts. You know, it's a very... It's a time where all the people I've got in board, uh, on board, you know, are up for giving. We've all do what we do because of people a crowd uh, a fan base so you know we're all in a position where we've decided to get together and try and deliver something that's top quality and give back and create a community with people who have supported us all the way along in our journeys you know yeah definitely like there's there's certainly a, a very prestigious uh, list of artists that we have in the project um i don't know if it is common knowledge that uh we, we have leroy thornhill up here for, of the prodigy uh but you know we've we've also got um some some of our artists in the in the audience down there you'll see uh some of their avatars which are uh of the nft so yeah, Le- that's awesome. Uh, how did you uh, come to find all of the artists that are in the collection? Um, well, the majority of them, like I say, we go back years. Uh, for example, we enjoy uh, an amazing band. Me and Keith used to follow them around in the rave scene. And um, from such things, if we go and see them at one gig, <laughs> come running out of the club, the guys to see us knew we used to follow them all the time and say, what are you up to? We're like, uh, nothing, what are you doing? They said, well, we're going to do it. A gig at another party if you want to come and we'd jump in their cars and they'd take us with us and you know they were our idols the same with Adamski who's involved we used to follow these people around Mickey Finn so they were all part of my musical uh, culture really you know these were bands that I followed around and to have them um, as mates along the journey of my musical career everyone's exactly the same as they were from day one and I don't want to do anything with egos. I've had a few people, uh, I'm not going to mention names, who have been a bit too big for their boots, and it's kind of, well, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't be involved. You know, I've got 54 artists, and we all have to work for each other and make something and deliver. I can't, I can't have people who think they're better or bigger than anyone else, you know? Yeah, of course. Um also, for those of you listening, we will open up for um, questions um, in a bit. Uh, I can see someone's already raised their hand to speak. Um, Richter, I know you had a few questions for Leroy. Uh, what have you got? Oh, I'm so, so hyped for this project. It's like what I've been waiting for, I think. It's exciting, very exciting. Um, but one thing I, I read in the roadmap that um, the investment that will get raised from the Genesis Mint will fund a one-of-a-kind studio for artists. I'd love to hear you talk more about that. A unique studio. So, the studio for artists? 
if you say sorry. Yeah, it's what I've read in the roadmap uh, uh, that we developed from the general, uh, Genesis Mint. Like, like I said, it's it's. I can't, I'm not going to put an order to the roadmap, um, and I'm not going to tell you all my ideas because I'd have to find you and silence you. But yeah, no, this is you know this is it's very simple, man. You're talking about the record business. Yeah, I've got uh, 54 artists. I've got producers. I've got DJs. You know, I've got people who can mix and master for you. I can write music for your NFT project for, from 54 artists from different genres. Um, you know, I can write music for your movies, for your adverts with this company, with these people. <clears throat> it's endless. I can give you DJ lessons online. I can give you studio lessons online. Um, the, the benefits of one-to-one tuition with an artist, whether it's learning a DJ lesson, I can do a DJ gig in your, in your future pod, in the metaverse, in your bit of land. You can book me and I can come and do a back-to-back DJ set virtually through a headset with any of the other DJs. You know, we're opening up. Having the ability to learn from you guys would be something special for sure. Well, it's 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 limitless. It's about the metaverse and this whole this whole platform is about whatever your imagination can come up with. So, if you if you imagine you've got a good imagination and you can deliver on them. Like I said, you're not going to bullshit people. And everything's transparent. And everyone in the team feels like a part of that team and is hungry and passionate about it. You know, it's actually a fun thing to do. It's actually quite simple. You know, there's always going to be human error. And margins for human error you can't accept for. You know, but mate, at the end of the day, it's not much different from 35 years ago when some of these artists myself including, we're bringing out white labels. You'd go and get a thousand bits of vinyl pressed up. You might make three or four uh, times the money uh, you pay to do it. If that was big in the club and the DJs were playing it, everyone wanted it. There's only a thousand of them. So all of a sudden, they're worth more money. You know, something I made and was selling for five, six pound 30 years ago is going for 160, 200 pound now. So it's not much of a different process to a lot of us as music artists you know also sounds a little bit like the uh nft game i know you've been trading nfts for a while how'd you get into that uh, uh yeah i got um <clears throat> i got asked to do a design um for an nft in a project and i got involved with it and done the design ended up um having my own design got to the point of why do I want my own design you know I, I want if I want to get into this I want someone else's surely the point of me designing something for this project was for someone else to have it you know and get the buzz out of it I, I'm not buzzing about owning my own one so anyway I, I, I put mine up for sale <clears throat> it went for a sensible price that made my jaw drop open gave my interest um, started focusing on on what this was all about how I could get involved in it um, and yeah was doing AMAs come up with an idea for um, doing like these personalised meta beats tunes for people theme tunes uh, good friends of mine heard it said let's do it let's, let's do it let's make a platform the idea is great you know we love it let's do it so that was kind of my um, introduction into it that NFT I designed uh, later, on, later on went on to, I wouldn't say it'd be a rug, but it got pulled off OpenSea. There was issues uh, with artists and stuff like that. So basically, it was just a learning curve for me. I was very lucky. You know, I, I got rid of my one. Other people weren't so lucky. Um, but there were so many parts of that that I learned from and maybe want to not repeat the same mistakes, you know. There yeah, was things, sure. Well, there was things like pieces of art within the collection where um, the the animation or the figurine was the same colour as the background, so you couldn't see the outline. You know, now if, if you're doing ten thousand of them and staring at a screen all day, I can appreciate the light changes, blah blah blah. But if you can't look back at that and say, "Man, I can't see the, I can't see it. It's it's the same colour as the background." 
asking are them little things you're giving someone a, a, a reason to really complain and feel disappointed by it because everyone else is ain't the same as that now like i say there is a, there's human error but little things like that I've, I've learned from i mean personally every bit of music that the guys have submitted i have i listen to from start to finish whether it's my genre or my favorite style or anything um so if you press play on the music collection i've been given and it will go on for two days 48 hours before it stops you know so i i do that and then i have to listen to them all through again to decide what kind of avatar they're going to have them because if they're a drummer uh and there's an eight bar where the beat stops the avatar looks wrong you know and then i'm putting the beats on the avatars or the songs or tunes whatever you want to call them the loops on the avatars to make sure they're on time you know so i'm doing that thousands of times over and over again and i'm not complaining about that and to be honest with you i, I could get a team to help me and do that sort of thing but i'm so i so don't want to let anyone down with the mistakes of things i've seen before I, i'll get one of them uh, one of the avatars to put the music on and I'll, I'll ring the team and i'm like man, am I being anal or is that avatar just, you know, a little bit too dark? And you're like, no, you're not being... Yeah. You know, the guy who's making them is doing thousands of them. So I'm being all picky. Oh, that one, I can't see his knee against the background. It's too dark or something. You know, he must he must hate me. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, uh, like I said, I just I want people to get what they expect and more. Yeah, so this is the furthest thing from a generative collection, guys. Everything is one of one, and it's all procured by the guy himself. So, uh, yeah, very unique collection and with an insane utility. Yeah, I, I think, again, the utilities aren't anything particularly um, original in terms of they kind of exist in the real world of the music business and things like that, but they're not accessible. To, to us you know to artists included you've got to remember you know the, an artist is probably lucky if they get anywhere near 80 percent of the music of their royalties and the music they make you know it's become a, a, unless you're doing a live show it's not really a job anymore you know unless you're uh yeah unless you are the prodigy unless you're norman cook unless you're um you know dead mouse or whatever then people have got millions and millions of followers yeah so yeah, billions they, of streams well they can do whatever they want you yeah. know they can fart in a jar and sell it i told you that before you know it's like you know they they don't need to do something like this everyone that's in here is doing it for the passion yeah and for the commitment and the buzz of the artists you know if, if i someone said to me i'm not going to say names but someone said to me about a huge huge american edm star oh i know someone who knows his management should i get in touch i'm like yeah get in touch and tell him to give a little punch in the face you know it's like because he wouldn't even be here if it weren't for the likes of some of the people in this in this group you know he wouldn't have that job of playing other people's music and becoming a superstar for you know, or thinking he's a superstar for it because he's only playing other people's music, you know. It's not the hardest thing in the world. You know, so it was an ego like that. And I said, no, because I don't want to have to talk to his management team. And, yeah, he'll come on and say hi in a Discord chat, three months' time for 10 minutes. Da, da, da. So, no, you know, if, if, he wants to, if someone wants to be involved in this, come on board, man. You know, because there's 54 of us, a lot of us, the artists are so new to this space, the NFT thing, some of them just like, yeah, I trust you, Lee, you do it, get on with it, just tell me what I need to do, explain it all when we're good to go. You know, that's, that's how it is in here, we've got a trust and a, and a thing, and that's what we want to build, a community where everyone who, who likes me, every fan of me, gets exposed to it the other 53 eyes and we build a community for each other and that's what this web space is all about you know I, I love going in all the discord chats i'm in uh groups i'm in you know and i'm, I'm seeing positivity so much you're gonna get your man come in moaning and moaning and everyone's like you know they're not like you know fuck off get out of it it's kind of like dude you know please just stay positive or don't say nothing or we're gonna have to ban you you know it's all yeah. kind of very nice you know
Next. <laughs> what, what, what do you got? Any anything, uh, Richter? Or should uh, we uh, open up to questions? If you'd like to come up to the stage, we can bring up to stage. Alternatively, you can ask a question through the banter chat. Yeah, let's take some other questions. Are you checking your notes, mate? Have you have you got something? Oh no, I thought you were bringing someone up there. Sorry. No, we don't have any raised hands yet. Uh, uh, one thing I, um, I did write down were the um, in real life events that this could lead to as well. I don't know you. Yeah, I've thought about that. Again, this is is stepping stones, you know. Right? But I, like I said, it's nothing here that can't be done. You know, you can. A lot of the artists that play all over the world. You know, we travel. I've been personally in seventy five countries. I know people are in America right now. There's a lot of the artists can't actually contribute um, and come in here at the moment because they're on tour. Um, so the live aspect of it, it's what we do. It's what <laughs> that's our jobs for thirty years. So. How we connect it is the only logistics we've got to work out. It's, you know, if, you, if you're a Genesis holder and you see any one of our acts playing in your town, you get a discount. You get to meet them. It's simple. It's just the logistics. Like I say, every single thing that we can come up with, we can deliver. It's not, we haven't got to reinvent the wheel. So I like to think that instills confidence in people, you know. If you're getting shares of a royalty of a record label or even shares in Metabeats along, along the line, you know, it's incentive. I don't, I don't want anything other than to deliver quality. I, I'm not interested in, in anything else. I, I want people to get something they really love. I want some people to be part of something they really love. You know, and as a musician or an artist or anything creative, our whole goal and high in life is to share. You know, that's why we do this. You know, you don't get artists who paint and paint and paint to just still stack it in their bedroom. They actually want people to see it. Sometimes that's not in their personality and they need help to expose it to people. You know, it's the same with this project I've, I've picked up on people who haven't had releases, who are new, who are small, they've got their little YouTube channel with the hip-hop homies, and I, it makes me think, yeah, man, you, you're creative, you're trying, you're working to make it, you know? I want you on board, you've got the quality, your music's good enough, let's get it exposed to people. There's only 54 of us, but we're not standing on our own. There's 54 of us that can connect with each and every one of you guys, you know? So it's exciting, it's really exciting. Yeah, I think anybody that knows even half the names in the list, I don't think confidence is a thing that anybody's going to be lacking in this project. <laughs> well, I've, sure. uh, like, I, like I say, I, I, I'm not trying to, it's not rocket science, man. If, yeah. if people, you know, I, I'm going to tell you, I've seen things that, that shock me in this life. You know, everyone's been through stuff, but I've been in situations where there's rock bands who are, who are numbers number one records in America, American art uh, rock bands, and they're massive, yeah? They're massive, yeah? And the guy is standing there with his manager and his sound guy in a triangle and there's not a metre between them. And the artist was saying to the manager, tell him on track three, I need the lights to be like this. Tell him, and the guy's standing there, yeah? It's not, you can't look the guy who's controlling his lights in the eye and tell him himself, right? Now that guy, when that guy is up there singing his number one song with his eyes, his eyes closed, wrapped in emotion, the guy who's controlling the lights can just go, fuck you, I'm going to make you look shit, yeah, and turn the lights down, right? This, this is a, a level of thing that I don't understand, yeah? If you want to get people back, something back from someone, you treat them with respect, do you know what I mean? Because then people are always there down the line, and they're the people that make you. And this is very simple, man. It's very simple. Everyone wants to be treated fairly and get a fair day's pay for a fair day's work or whatever it is that they do. That's not rocket science, man. It's like if a few more people have done it, the world would be a lot happier place, you know? For sure. Really nice thing to hear, yeah, for sure. 
Uh, I've just had a message for a question um, that says, can you explain more about the intellectual property rights, how that's going to work? Yes, again, it's uh, it, to some of the artists, it's, it's very confusing because it's a new medium, but we're accepting of the fact that we're writing this music to give away to people. You know, it's it's a new thing, but some of the people have gone back to their hard drives with tunes that are amazing that they can never finish, and they've re-sculpted them and made them into an NFT. You know, artists who are known for one genre of music have mixed up the genres and be able to experiment and do things that they love with their passion. You know, but with the purpose, like I said, of giving it to someone in the metaverse, people... Uh, you know, look at the record industry. You've got to understand what is happening to people here in terms of Spotify and these platforms that basically are just raping you. They're just taking the flesh <laughs> off your bones, you know, to uh, for nothing. Now, I can turn around to some of the artists and they, who they don't get it, and I'm saying, look, you know, go for your hard drive, man. And they'll send me some tracks, and they'll say, what do you think of them? And they'll write, I said, they're perfect. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get involved with it. Or should I? I'm like, but dude, what, do you want to leave them on your hard drive? Or do you want to just give them to someone, get a bit of money out of them, make someone's life, you know what I mean? Make someone happy, man. Give something back to people. And then people are like, yeah, man, I've got 200 things sitting there. What arm is it going to do to get involved and try this and put my feet in the water and give it to someone? Let them go away. Let them do something with it. Let them be creative. Let them own it, you know, because at the end of the day, and I'm not, you know, it's not numbers or anything, but you're going to make more money out of one of them selling it directly than you will over one single over 10, 20 years, getting it in dribs and drabs in £30 little payments and someone taking 30% for distributing it, someone taking 50%. You know, it's, it's just non-stop take. You know, and, and this is an opportunity, and that's why the old school people who have been around from day one are so keen to give back, because this is how we made our careers. People believing in us, coming and supporting us, you know, and enjoying what we do. So it's, it's take this, go and do something with it. Make it the theme tune for your business. You know, in the same way that the, the board apes are giving away the IPs and people are making businesses, the board burger whatever you know sometimes it's don't get too precious man you know if you're not going to do anything with it and it's good surely just let someone else own it it's not you know we're going to do die and take it with it chuck that uh chuck that hard drive in my coffin room i could throw it in the back and <laughs> tell me i'll do some place for tunes do you know what i mean yeah. come on right? The amount of YouTubers and Twitch streamers and people like that that this can be absolute diamond for. No, it's experience of sharing thing. Like I said, the, the the artists, some of them are still confused by it and, you know, treading carefully. And I don't blame them. We've all been shafted for so long. Um, so it's understandable, new mediums, new platforms. But, you know, let's face it. Right, there's a smart contract to it. Every single transaction is visible on the blockchain. Whereas before, you've got a record company saying, oh, no, we only sold 10,000. Well, can you show me? Well, no, but we only sold 10,000. Can you show me? No, but we only sold 10,000. You know, like it was, people have been dealing this shit forever. You know, this is a very clear, transparent space. And that's, you know, one of the things that's so exciting for us. You know, you're, I want to give you a bit of music that you can use, take around. If you bought a bit of land and you're set up, plotted up next to Snoop Dogg in Sandbox or wherever, and you're doing a business, you've got a theme tune playing outside your door for anyone who comes past, it's your trademark, the same as anything else, you know. That's why these are so unique, because they're one-offs. No one else can own that. That's a special thing, and... You know, like I said, that's dawned to me personally more and more as I've gone along with the idea and seen the other NFT collections and things that people have to offer or what they 
you know, a selling. And to me, I still, you know, I'm not dissing anyone. For me, I still think the basis of it all is quality. I think we've done that. We've nailed that, you know? Yeah, so you can the mint one of these uh, meta beats. That beat is yours. You can do whatever and monetize it however which way you want. You could sell it. Uh, you know, for an influencer to use in a video clip, you could, like Leroy said, use it as a theme tune on uh, in your metaverse. Like it's it's totally up to you how you use that beat, and you know any, it's essentially yours once you've minted, right, Leroy? Well, yeah, like that's it. it that's... Like for instance, it's no longer fake speed. It's it's no longer ret speed. It's it's now yes, your fish. beat. Yeah, you've got an eternal IP, so you can do whatever you want with it, you know. Yeah. So it's it's one of these situations where, you know, as artists, I can tell you that I'm standing there and it's like, yeah, I'm doing a live DJ stream on Arsebook, and suddenly the tune, everyone's like, man, the music's gone off, the music's gone off. And the publishing people have got bots that will cut off the set. If I'm advertising for a new DJ, a new person who's just got a record out, I'm trying to promote it for him. I'm playing it. He's getting raw. He's the publishing company and everything will get raw. They'd rather ban it and block it out than have the artist earn any money at all. You know, they'd rather do that than, than confront Facebook and that and get the royalties of proper rates for musicians. So rather than promote their artist, they'd rather block it out so he gets absolutely nothing. Yeah, now I don't think too many people are, are thinking about that. Yeah, right now in your Xbox or whatever, you can load up your, your music, your playlist, blah, 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 da, da, da. But the, the major corporations are already working on how we can get something out of this place. How can we how can we rinse this the same as we do everything else? And it's going to be, it will come a point where whatever business, whatever you think you're doing, you're rocking around in the in the metaverse, playing like your, your Oasis or Nirvana album, whatever you rock along to. And that shit's going to get blocked out because unless then people are getting paid and they find a way to, to drain money out of the metaverse, they're going to block that shit. You know, this stuff is so new, them corporates are like, well, if we can't make money, no one else is having it free, are they? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> man, I'm not having music that some record company come along to you and say, Oh man, yeah, you you've got that loop, that NFT loop, but you've got to take it down. Why? Well, because I'm a record company and that's a publisher and you're nobody and I've got to crush you. Fuck off, you've you've done you've, your time's done, man. You know? I don't want to compete with them people. I don't want to try and write full songs that are number one hits that are controlled by people who run X Factor and people's careers that they destroy. It's all over, man. You know, for me, I, this is cool underground, it's people who are passionate. And there's community spaces, whatever it is, whether it's artwork, music, photography, this web free, and the, it's out of their control. It's about what we want it to be. You know, the same as it was when the rave scene come along and they didn't know what was going on when there was 10,000 kids in a field and they were like, the police, the local policemen are turn up. We got a bit of a disturbance there in here, boy. You know, what I mean? they didn't know what was going on. You know, and that's that's us. That's where we all come from. That's what we all want to be, you know. We don't want to conform to all these people who just, these vampires who continually suck, off, suck out of us, you know. Yeah, definitely. So if, if I've minted a MetaBeats, could I then uh, take that? as my own to like say spotify and claim uh a claim the half a cent royalty for like <laughs> for 2000 yeah, plays you can do what you want but why would you yeah. it's not a so it's not a song it's, it's, a theme, seconds, it's, yeah. it's a sound it's a sound bite it's a theme tune it's a it's a it's a piece of personal the music that's the value the real value in it yes you can you can if you're intelligent with it i think yeah you can you can make money out of it do stuff with it and you know the utilities that will come with it will surely eventually if you if you take advantage of them pay for that nft that is that is a plan you know 
Um, so you can't you can't really you can't really put put it down to Spotify and stuff. This is what we were trying to avoid. You're not doing yourself any favors. You know, you're not going to sell a 30 second loop or stream it on, on Spotify. This isn't a music collection. It's a personalized signature uh, logo theme tune. Whatever you want yeah, to call it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an identity for yourself. You know, in the same way, yeah. clothes, in the same way clothes are. And stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all I was getting at was just like, you know, um, people are free to monetize the thing as, as they and see fit. Like, it's, it's the ball's in their court, it's their, their beat. So, right. You can go down the high street in Melbourne, strip your clothes off, cover yourself in pastel paints, and earn money out of it for all I care. Just do it. <laughs> just, just make sure you just keep do it with keep, just do it with Meta Beats playing. <laughs> yeah, and just make sure you keep your dignity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not that loud, me. You know, I mean, see, again, we, we've got this thing where, uh, for me, it was very important that the artists keep their sound. You know, I know whatever platform digitally it goes on, everything gets compressed and stuff like that. You know, but we, we've done it so that everything's waveform and people, when they take it out of the digital realm of the, the desktop or their iPhone, you know, it's going to sound really fat. Um, so, but everyone's got their own identity. I didn't want a factory to mix and master every single one. People's um, character is expressive in mixing their music. And I wanted to retain that as yeah. well. I want, I want everything to feel genuine, you know. Um, like I said, it's to me this isn't. It's about hard work, the same as everything in life, and support. No one can do anything on their own, you know. I've got an amazing group of people. I hope the people who connect with us and come in the community and see the NFTs, hear the NFTs, um, want to be part of that because without them, we're nothing. But um, you know, I, I, first and foremost. Without them, we're nothing, you know. But all of these musicians are amazingly talented, even the people that uh, are not recognised or be heard of. So it's a really exciting time, and I'd like to think we just we can all get on a ride together with quality that goes on a journey that isn't just one mint, one drop, uh, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You know, it's kind of right. We're we're going from here community would you rather have a sound pack how many producers out there we can submit about submit a bit sound pack stems and the free drum sounds for do your own productions it's it's endless you know and it's a thing that will you know evolve organically on its own and will it be a platform where a lot of music heads come will it be a platform where people want to buy the nft because the artwork's really cool you know, there's so many different markets and genres. People, you're never going to keep everyone happy. It's impossible, uh, and I don't ever attempt to do that. But you know, for the people that can see it for what it is, I think they'll be happy to get something that I feel will reward them in the long term. You know. Yeah, and you you touched on something um, that we had discussed before was the. Um you know like the asset packs for like you know if you wanted to get say you got like a, a leroy thornhill meta beats you, you could then you know uh purchase at a discount or potentially claim like a you know the ableton asset pack of that you've put out or something along those lines yeah man like i said it's so easy i can turn around and say to you you know, theoretically, out of my number of NFTs, one of them's like a Willy Wonka gold gold ticket, you know, and if you get that one and you get that number, I'll give you all the sounds that were that, that NFT was made from. Or, you know, I can give you the stems for it. You can come in and have a studio session with me. We'll make a, a, a loop, create an NFT, mint it, put it into the collection. It's endless. Like I say, it, 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 it's yeah. endless with ideas that are all achievable because we've got so much talent and passion and hard working people here. 
you know, I, 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 can't say, I can't say no more. It's just about honesty and realising what you can do. I'm not, I wouldn't say, say any of the road, ide- road map ideas or anything if I weren't 100% I could deliver them. Oh, I think it's rugged. You are? Yeah, you there, mate? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. The last thing you said was, uh, yeah, if you didn't think there was anything you could do, you wouldn't have put it on papers. Well, I, I just, you know, it's, we're all dreamers. We all want to give the best. We all want to achieve these certain things, but you, you do have to be realistic. You know, Rome weren't built in a day. You can't run for a walk. I, I've, I've seen collections where I've minted something. They've got 10,000 of them. You know, they've sold 170 in 24 hours by the time you go back to look into the group it's like okay right now we're gonna if you mint now you're gonna get a free one with it's like well i just minted one uh, like 12 hours ago i didn't get a free one like uh, yeah, yeah we ain't sold many so for five hours everyone's going mad buying to get a free one oh we're gonna stop that now because we've reached 250 but yeah but you just yeah <laughs> You know, all this, and then it's like, okay, so the mutants that were going to come out second, we're going to bring them forward. It's like, dude, just, you know, concentrate on one thing at a time. Why are you talking about mutants? You sold 100 out of, like, 10,000. You know, focus on doing the, the right thing first. And it's, you know, it's, it ain't, it's not rocket science. It's really not. You know, like I say, order of roadmap. I'd like to think is partly controlled by what the community want, you know, and yeah. they help you sculpt sculpt the uh, order of how they'd like it to come along. Same with the artists, you know. There's the artists will all communicate and say to each other with ideas, you know, because you got to remember some people are drum and bass, some people are techno, some people are house, you know, so. It's not going to appeal to every person's fan base, everyone's music. But as artists, if we're all coming together and pushing each other, sharing each other's fan base, and someone who doesn't know one of the bands will come in here, discover them because they're part of the project, go back, look at their back catalogue. You know, it's a community thing for us as much as we for the for the fan base, you know? Yeah, 100%. I just wanted to um, double back just a bit. So uh, post-Mint, is there anything or, like first on the agenda? Uh, no, again, I, I, think, I think this will all take a bit of shape as the people get to know about it, the community get involved throw in the ideas, point out the ideas they like. Um, Like I said, everything is is doable within a very short period of time. But again, until you can gauge your audience, it's very hard to know what you want. You know, you could turn around and say, yeah, we're going to give away production lessons to the the first 50 people that meet. You know, and then there's no producers in there. So it's like, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sitting, I'm sitting here, the artist. I'm sitting there waiting to produce. They're waiting to produce. I want to do it. With. You know, it, it, a lot of that is defined by your clientele. You know, if uh, one thing's for sure that if the mint goes well and the the clients and the fan base are behind the project, it will be about starting the next the next drop first and foremost because it does take a while to get. A thousand tracks together um so yeah like i say it's if we get a, a strong roadmap of ideas together i think a lot of people will you know help us dictate the route of that you never know there might be someone comes in and say oh man you know, like um we want you to come and do parties in the other side for example you're the meta beats dj so that could be the first point of call virtual dj gigs the metaverse, you, it's impossible, really, you know, after day two of launching your promo 
to totally, totally have the road list step by step process. I feel without without feedback, you know. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's there's certainly a lot of directions the project could take, but it's obviously you know going to be up to the community and and the holders um, to, I guess point the laser at what what would be you know uh preferable yeah find their feet again it's a very different like i say it's a very different platform you've got 54 artists here you know there will be some that aren't quite as engaging um it's the nature of humans that's that's the way it is but at the end of the day there's 54 people most of them are willing to chat to everyone give advice tell stories if I spread that out over one AMA a week, it's a year's worth of interesting topics. Of course, it would be a lot more than that. But my point is that what we've got to offer is so much more than just one person. It's a team of, of experienced people, of new people, modern producers who have got their finger on what's going on nowadays in different scenes. You know, it, it's excitement. For me, personally, it's excitement, and I know a lot of it's right, because they don't feel that they have to perform within a box anymore. It's kind of like, well, man, I'm known for house music. Um, you know, I've done 20 tunes, but I better take two back and do house ones, because that's what I'm known for. You know, it's yeah. a free, it's, it, it matches the whole concept, web free and NFTs and where this is going, and that's freedom for the individual to kind of choose their direction, you know, take a gamble. Because don't forget, everyone, this is fucking gambling. You know what I mean? It is gambling. But, you know, at the end of the day, so Elon Musk does a post and ApeCoin flies up. You know, this this is the world we're living in now. You know, but five, ten years ago, you never had access to uh, stocks and share graphs going up. And to say to yourself, right, if I watch that, for two hours, I might be able to flip a day's worth of food. You know, it's a different world now, and there's individuals and the time and effort you put into yourself um, and research, is it can help make you. It's a different world. You can make money, small amounts of money, regular, um, which is a very different concept to how life was 10 years ago, even before. Even before COVID coming on, you know, people have had to look at how can yeah. I make money in a way. As an artist, two years without DJing is, uh, and doing gigs and work for the is pretty depressing. You know, you can't, if you write dance music, what are you write in dance music for? You can't play it. No one's playing it. No one's listening to it. dancing. It was a very, very dark time, you know, for musicians. And to be fair, it still hasn't come out of that. Um, I, I, it seems every time I go and get, go out to DJ and I'm in a, on a flight or an airport, I, mean, I get ill again. <laughs> you know, so it's it's been hard times for it's been very hard times for everyone, not just musicians, but everyone in life is there to assess how they earn money, when they go out the door, can they work from home? Do I need to put that petrol in my car? Do I need to get on that train at thirty in the morning, five days a week, two days a week? I can do home you know this is a time of change this is a revolution a lot of people left behind on um you know don't get me wrong i'm not a scientist but i think i read somewhere the other day that 3.7 of the world's population has got crypto you know it's nothing it's nothing but that is what's going to come so we are still very early to the scene the european nft market understanding far less than the the stateside understanding of learn um but it's quite easy to learn from other it's easier to learn from other people's mistakes you know just as much as it is success so that's yep. what life's about you know indeed um yeah if if anyone has any uh questions for leroy uh please just uh yeah Raise your hand, and uh, we'll bring you up. Coffee shop cats. Come 
and throw them at me. Three and a half minutes for the perfect egg. I've got I can uh, answer all sorts of questions. Let's go. <laughs> no, he, he's he's rugged me. That's a, oh, he's up here. Well, hang on, I'm not paying mm-hmm. attention. <laughs> Good day, mate. Sorry about, yeah. sorry about him, people. You, you haven't let him speak yet. Have you just muted? There you go. Hey, guys. How you doing, man? Great. Thanks for having me. Thank you Good for talk today. <laughs> Love the project. Love everything we're hearing. Um, was curious if we knew anything about the... We spoke a lot about the music, and it's, it's great. I was curious if, if we knew anything about the art... Uh, on the uh, NFT uh, itself. Uh, yeah, yeah. So again, um, I'm not going to mention their names, but looking through the market and the music. Again, I thought it was a lot of music there that was useless to, to the customer. They couldn't really evolve it into new music. It was just a still picture, kind of, you know, what am I getting here? So, I mean, the avatar you can see of me, for example, at the moment, and all the other artists, you know, these are s- slight clues to what it, where it's going, but they're actually moving in sync, uh, DJs, keyboard player, drummers. Um, every one of the thousand is different. Every artist has got a unique one for each of their track with the logos in the background. Um, yeah, they're like 4K. They're amazing. They're amazing, to be honest with you. Um, you know, kind of futuristic. I didn't want this is for the metaverse. I have a time frame, or um, I want it to be timeless. And I'm, you know, I'm amazed with it. I'm amazed with it. They're virtually 3D animation. We're not zooming around the character. I can only tell you, it drops my drops from a draw every time I see it. There's tiny clips of it on the, the promo. But again, it's a little bit of a tease. I've even, I've even got the artists haven't even seen them yet, their own ones, you know. It's, it's a strange thing. They're like, man, what's going on with my avatars? You know, I'm like, well, I, I can't send them to you. I can't, I can't leak them until I've got everyone done and everything. So I, I, I really can't wait for people to to have a look at them close up because uh, the shadows and the kick drums move and everything is amazing yeah i don't know you've put so much time into you know, making sure every every avatar matches each beat like going through one by one and making sure that the the movement is aligned with the music like it's uh, it's a lot of attention to detail in this one yeah, but again, it's that's pretty simple when it, the design team are blowing me away, you know. There's, there's a thousand, <laughs> a thousand of these things with different backgrounds. It, it's truly amazing. And, I, I, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm, it's all about honesty that some of the people who come on board in the background with the team as we were going along to get involved, like yourselves with the Discord and stuff, they were into the project. They love the idea. And if after meeting the team, you know, a couple of a week or so, I'm saying to people, so what do you think of the avatars and that, the artwork? They're like, we haven't seen it. And I'm like, what? So you bought into this project to jump on board and come work with us with the concept of the music and everything, but you haven't even seen the artwork. And like, I'm like, right, no, I'm going to send you this little link. Come back online after you've watched it. You know, everyone's like, fucking hell, I can't believe this. You know, what, it's about the music, not the art. It's like, oh, yeah, but I want it to be on all fronts. I want everyone to really, when they hold that buzz, (laughs) it's the only one in the world. You know, coffee shop. Can you unmute him again? I want to make sure he's happy with the answer. Trav, can you? Oh, yeah, he's driving himself. Ah. Does that help answer you, man? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, bro, exactly. <laughs> that, that, that's what I was wanting to hear. I was, I, I, you know, you can see you got those teasers of the, the guys playing the drums, and I was like, I 
was like, is this the art that goes with the music too? It was kind of tripping, yeah. so glad. Yeah, yeah, Thank man. You. It's it's just been I just want everyone to get something that's so cool. You know, I'm a collector. I don't know from I've got one of a thousand Darth Vader Star Star Wars lightsabers signed by Gerald, James Earl Jones, Star Wars original comic, I've got Pink Floyd sales from the walls, the Simpsons. I'm a collector. I love all this shit, man. I love it. You know, but I don't like, I've also got a conscience. I don't like ripping people off. You know, I, I was a kid and I wrote for my favourite soccer teams and they, they were printed out and it broke my heart. You know, and when we done the Prodigy, if we had done 100,000 postcards to our fans, we signed them individually. And I get people 35 years later buzzing because they're still showing me that saying look man i still got that postcard you lot signed you know and man for the gift i've had in life and the journey i've had to share and do things authentically there's no hardship and that's that's to me is why the artwork had to be so good you know up there with the music Yeah, I mean, like it's it's the proof is in the pudding for sure. Like, um, from what I've seen, it it looks mint, man. Um, yeah, really excited for for you all to see this. Yeah, it's, it's such a hard one. I get, obviously, it's my first my first um, project, and I've got an amazing team. Go on everyone's guidance, especially this, you know, part within this. It's like, my God, if if I could, I would have been posting every one of them by now. But <laughs> it's it's just so tempting to let more things slip out. But you know, I think it's very important to yeah for you guys to know what's behind the team. Know that if you are followers, musicians, and stuff that we want you to be able to connect first and foremost um, because you supported us all for so long. You know, of course, new people can cover us. That's that's the nature of the business, but um, we want to make this a really personal thing. Interact with people, our fans, and people who have supported us from day one. And for me, that means give them the same quality as we have done all the way through our journeys while we're still doing this job. Mm -hmm. I just had um, one question that I thought of before we um, wrap up. In terms of like proof of ownership, like uh, to go back to the example of y using the beat or like you know selling the uh, use of the beat to like <clears throat> someone on YouTube, for instance, mm -hmm. if somebody rips that off and uses it, and you want to. Um, a claim copyright violation with YouTube. How would that be proved? Um, hang on, let me just put my lawyer jacket on. Um, I said, you know, like that question was to someone who knows. I couldn't give you an honest answer. Like I said, I'm not going to bullshit you. But the point of it is, <laughs> theoretically, that would be the NFT holder's problem. He owns the IP to it now. Yeah, you, yeah you're not wrong, actually. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not. Yeah. We're trying to give. We're trying to give people the idea of that and the freedom to do what they want to own that copyright. This, this is this debate of a. Uh, oh, mate, it's just a JPEG, right? Click save. You know, it's like no, it's got a, a smart contract attached to it. You know, that's the value of it. That's why these artists are believing it. That's why the artists are giving it away and giving some someone the value and uniqueness that they are because. It, under a smart contract it's a new way of working for us you know but you know if i get if i get an, an nft by enjoy or something if i was a purchaser you know it might might want to go on to buy their music their albums discover them go and see them live mm. you know this is so for the artists the benefits of building a new fan base and selling uh, an nft and seeing some money uh, real money without it being drained over by loads of leeches over 20 years, not actually knowing what it equates to, 
is a smart contract dude. Go on E for scan. See that that went from interim on that day for that amount of money. You know, it's for artists it's a new way of working that we still, a lot of us, have to get our head around, you know, but it's, like I say, it gives you this freedom and independence to kind of control yourself, you know. They were all involved in this for the loops and the giving these loops to the metaverse for individuals. It's not going to stop any one of us writing an album, and hopefully the person who's bought one of our NFTs wants to go and buy our album, support us, and, you know... And if we then do our album for independent releases of NFT, you know, we're getting money directly from our fan base filtered from the record label. You know, we can turn music over quicker because it's not like, oh, there's a record label. Oh, we've got their album coming out in June. Theirs is in August. We'll fit you in in December. Well, I won't like this music by December. It'll be out of fashion. Dance music. Yeah. You know, the, the, the freedom this gives us as artists um, you know, with no one else to 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 define what we should be, or you know, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a press campaign through uh, through the through the magazines, paper magazines. Well, no, dude, you know, it's the internet now. We use the internet. Oh no, no, yeah, I'm going to do it through the um, going to do it through the magazines. No, dude, the internet. It's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, I've got my way. It's like, yeah, now you've got to recoup five hundred pound because I've done it through the through the press you know it's just yeah. no control over anything <laughs> so welcome to the, the the metaverse you know the future this is it's here now get on board and not exploit it but invest in it invest in yourselves and it's very easy to do the research needed to further yourself and financially as a person education you know it's at your fingertips so, man, it's time to get on board. My, my daughter's generation know what NFTs are. You know, if I say it to my mum or a few people around my age, they think it's a, a superstore for, like, you know, paint and that. You know, yeah, what, are you going down there, like, NFT? What is that for? You know, what they sell down there, plants, paint? You know, it's like, no, dude, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's so new. It's so new, but... We're all on the, the the brink of it, so go and enjoy it. Hundred percent. Well, Leroy, right, thanks. Hundred and ten percent. Okay, hundred and ten percent. Thanks for coming on, Leroy. Um, for all of you listening, we, we will be having regular events. Be sure to be sure to check out our event calendar. Uh, we have uh, regular AMAs, uh, DJ sets. Um, we'll even have some of the artists themselves performing sets. So keep it, keep an eye out for that. And with that said, yeah, thank you all for coming. Lero, did you have any final remarks? Yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone for support. And uh, step, step one, hopefully um, I'm going to see you along the way. If it become clearer, you'll see the artwork you know get a buzz uh, like we are each step of the way and um yeah i hope you get to be as passionate about the project as we are and always remember to leash your camel get out of bed because it won't be there in the morning you're right <laughs> thanks everyone <laughs> no worries <laughs> Good chance, anyway. thank you man Guys, thanks all of you. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.